Witcher, I've been awaiting you. We need to kill a monster that sinks boats. Afraid? No, but I suspect we'll need to draw it onto the shore. Leave that to me. I can't wait. I bet it's something spectacular. Believe it. You'll do the honors. The honors? Once on the riverbank. You'll kill him. Her. Whatever it is. Did you find out where the Cairn came from? I didn't even try. So I take it you know it was created by a mage. I guessed as much. And what of it? Do you wish me to feel guilty, apologize for some madman? I don't intend to. How did you know it was a mage? I didn't. Just guessed. Triss claims the Cairn was born of magic. She's right. Something that large couldn't possibly evolve in the waters of the Pontar. It looks like the result of some botched experiment. It's growing rapidly and will probably age just as quickly. If we're going to work together, we should get to know each other. Is that so? Very well. Ask what you will. Do you always take on Witcher's work? Occasionally. If it pays exceptionally well. You don't like the competition. I like your kind of competition. Let's hope it works out for us both. I haven't traveled this far to have the Cairn slip through my fingers now. Traveling alone. That can't be pleasant. I've never needed protection. I have ways of dealing with unpleasant surprises. What about pleasant surprises? Is that how you think of yourself, Witcher? There's only one way to find out. Kill the Cairn, Witcher. That's what's important now. What's that? It looks impressive. A megascope. What does it do? Many complicated magical operations. It allows me to communicate with other sorceresses, for instance. I never expected to see you at Laredo's. Whereas I was sure you would show up there. The Commandant is terribly jealous about his small trading post. Anyone of import is summoned to hear him out sooner rather than later. What did he want from you? That is my concern, certainly none of yours. We're not a tandem, Geralt. We'll kill the Cairn together, but that is all. I've got everything I need. Let's go. Excellent. Ready? Are you wearing makeup? We all have our rituals. From what I know, Cairns are colorblind. Enough, Geralt. Time to draw the beast out of the water. Got an ace up your sleeve? I always do. Don't get eaten, and we'll soon both be heroes. I hope you're right. You descend into the lair. I'll stay on the bridge and pull it out onto the bank. Take care. It'll be extremely dangerous, even on land.
We did it. Not a bad fight, wouldn't you say, Geralt? Are you alright? I'm fine. I've used up much of my energy, so if you needed help... I've learned to help myself. Hmm, a sorceress worried about me. Should I be scared? Playing it tough, like every Witcher. I had no idea it'd be so big. Triss was right. It's mutated. Magically induced. I must get to work. Collect the most valuable ingredients. What a shame so much will go to waste. Forgive me. Time is of the essence. Farewell, then. Don't forget to collect the reward. Oh, I won't. The oldest bird was around. Those were the good old days. I think the student... Job done. The Kieran's dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. You might want to stir it. Just like the horse market. Thanks, boss. Well, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoia'til prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kieran at Besnalen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. Any knives? Hey boss, look who's graced our smithy. That titan of the art of smithing can't hear us. Busy, works a blur in his hands. And how are you, witcher? Things working out for you? Nice workshop. Bah, it's no workshop, just a simple forge. But thanks for the compliment, both in my name and the master's. So how can we help you, eh?
Hello. So, how can we help you, eh? Geralt of Rivia, the king of the witches, the witcher of well, kings. Come on, have a drink with us. I wouldn't mind a shot. Celebrating something? A great victory. Interesting. We did away with Veopatis, or whatever the hell they call him. Thirteen hacked off his head and nailed it to his arse. You behaved like swine. What? We're not allowed a bit of fun? It was only a wooden puppet. Come on, let's play our game. Right, toothpicks. Knife throwing. Care to try me? Gladly. Vess against the Witcher. Place your bets, gentlemen. Ten to one on Vess. Witcher, map on the wall. Vess, barrel! Witcher, cured ham. Vess, fish head! Witcher, all on the wall. Geralt wins. There they are! Those are the shitheads who desecrated Veopatis' statue! Pitchforks! Which will you say, Bumpkin? What's going on? Nothing. We had a little competition. They threw knives at a statue of Veopatis! It's blasphemy! Are gods desecrated by soldiers? They're no ordinary soldiers, but blue stripes. Know what that means? Blue or green, it's all the same to me! They're horsons, all of them! What did you say? I, I... I just... You said what you thought. Good, that's the way. Beer for this brave man. And drink to my health. Here's to the whore's son, Vernon Roach. Vernon? You've got shitty glassware in Flotsam. Not fit for a hero, but I've got an idea. <laughs> drink the horseman's beer from the floor! Geralt, do something! I'll try. Vernon. Leave him alone. It's not worth it. You don't know shit. Consider this your lucky day, mongrels, and get out of here. I have to take a walk. You're too hard on Roach. I don't like sadists. Vernon was a half-orphan. What does that have to do with it? He was raised in poverty. His mother turned to whoring to keep them from starving. The other children called him a whore's son. Hasn't been able to handle that insult since. Come on. Let's have a drink. All right. Remember when we had to wait in the cave for reinforcements? How could I forget? We ate Pete, we were so starved. Well, those were the days. Here's to Pete, tart and nutritious. Hey! What do you say to a little competition? A keg of beer to whoever beats Geralt at arm wrestling. And if Geralt wins? I'll give you my sword, a true antique. But it sacks off many a head. You don't make them like this anymore. All right. Me throat's a little dry. Pour us a drink, someone. Remember when our better lieutenant I could plow four elven oars at once? He said we'd sooner cross the sea on the asses of four whores strapped together to make a raft. I'd have managed it. Sure. If only there were that many elf women at the brothel. Let's begin. We'll see if 13 can beat the Witcher.
Thirteen proves too weak for the Witcher. Keep practicing there, mate. Plow off, the lot of you. Somebody pour me a drink. Remember when I rode my horse into a tree? Can't say I do. Have a shot. It'll refresh your memory. Gentlemen, now it's Fen against the Witcher. The prize is yours. May it serve you well. Gentlemen, to our health. Just like after the Battle of Gag... Gagu... Gage. Aye, that was a right piss-up. We puked all over the battlefield. To paradise on whores' asses. Got drunk as newts, you did. Never seen anything like it in my life. Anything like what? Such a sight. Meaning? Better you don't remember. But I want to know. I tell you for a few or ends. There. Now talk. Talk to the madame. She knows the details. The squirrel sorcerer summoned this rain. It witch and Strigger style. Freak. <laughs> no, tell me. He downs the flat, tries to get it on, falls back to sleep, and she wakes up a virgin in the morning. <laughs> Greetings. What can I get you, fine lad? What do you think of the Commandant? Mr. Laredo is a great man. A great man. He looks after us, helping like. Taxes are just as they should be. We're all pleased he governs the trading post and we're all perfectly happy here. Excellent. You're a model citizen. I'll be sure to inform the Commandant. Bah! Do I need publicity? I'm a humble woman. I know what's good for me. The reader's our leader here and everything's all right. They say you know what happened here yesterday. I do. But you'd be better off not asking, darling. Talk. Nothing's for free. Especially in a brothel. Talk. Five of you came in, or crawled in, I should say. I was crawling? Indeed. One of the blue ones ordered five girls. I gave you the best because you showed me good coin. What happened next? This is the interesting bit, because instead of ploughing them like the normal soldiery, 
You mounted them and told them to give you a ride to the port. Can't be. Ask the lass in the uniform, then. Vess was here, too? Sure was. She tried to stop you, but you were too much for her. Remind me, which one was this Foltes they killed? How did you end up in the Blue Stripes? Why do you ask? Well, you're a beautiful girl and... So what? I'm not a nobleman's or merchant's daughter. All right. I may have the looks, but with my background, the best I could hope for was to be a maid in some roadside inn, or to work at a brothel not unlike the local one, using my sweet lips to give blowjobs for a handful of coppers. So I'll stick to slitting elven throats, thank you. You know what you want, and I like that. You're quick to pounce, Witcher. Except you've got the wrong girl. You think so? All right. Roach has decided you're sailing with us. Fine. But it wouldn't be the best time even if I fancied you, which I don't. I need your sword, not your dick. Anyway, as far as I know, you're hardly indifferent to Triss Merigold. Well said. She is spanielized whenever you're around. It's hard not to notice. Nice area, isn't it? I prefer these little towns, forgotten by gods and people alike, to palaces and castles. It's survival of the fittest here. At least you know what to expect. So yes, I like it here. Is your hatred towards the Scoyatel some sort of revenge? You don't know me, Geralt. Human or non-human, it makes no difference to me. We were chosen to fight the Scoyatel, and that's the mission we pursue. To me, the Scoyatel are but bandits hiding out in the woods. If there were humans among them, I'd kill them in a flash just the same. The man we're looking for is much more dangerous than any Scoyatel. Must be, if he managed to outwit Geralt of Rivia. It wasn't the first time someone tried to kill Foltest. I killed an assassin before. That means there could be more assassins out there. If anyone screws up, it won't be me, I assure you. I'm a soldier because I do it well. Ever dreamed of a different life? Finch, our marksman, once tried farming, but he just didn't have the hands for it. Bet he'd get me right between the eyes from 80 paces off. A hundred. I've tried cooking, darning, smiling like a doll, serving beer in a tavern. None of my thing. I talked to the madam. Is what she says true? I tried to talk you out of it. But you insisted you'd cross the river on the whore's asses. You tried for several hours, but it just wasn't going to be. What happened next? You said you wanted to be one of the blue stripes and had to get yourself a tattoo. What tattoo? One like ours. And you got it. Shit. Where are my things? You left them all over the place. I gathered them in that trunk by the window. Thanks, Vess.